quite often, oh, I left my glasses, so I gotta get my glasses. Oh, and we are back, we are back. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Make sure the audio is synced, we're ready to go. Anyway, what's up guys, Ollie here. So I've been meaning to do a what's on my Mac, what's on my MacBook video, you know, basically going through some of the apps that I use. The great thing about the Mac is there's so many different ways to do so many different things. And yeah, I just wanted to share some of the apps that I use every day. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So some of the stuff which most people will be familiar with are things like Photoshop, Lightroom, Sketch, you know, things like that. These are apps that I use for designing, photo editing, things like that. But I wanted to cover some apps that, you know, most people maybe not have heard of. One of them being an app called Unclutter. So Unclutter is basically an app which sort of lives in your, is it taskbar or whatever bar? I don't know what the bar at the top of the screen is called. I've completely forgotten. But what you do is you either swipe down or you scroll down depending on if you use a touchpad or if you use a mouse. And when you scroll down, you're basically given a clipboard of things that you've copied, you're given your files that you've added, and you're given a notes thing. So you can see here, you know, my clipboard has unclutter on it. And it basically keeps a list of things that you've added to your clipboard, things that you've copied. Um, files, you can just drag and drop files in there so that you always have them ready, ready to go. And then obviously you have the notes and the notes one is pretty simple. And as you can see, it's some of the apps that I want to cover. Uh, so Unclutter is being one of them. You now you can add more notes as well if you want to. Uh, it's a pretty awesome app and it's a great way to basically make sure that you have quick access to your clipboard, your files and your notes. And the great thing with this program is that you can actually have everything synced to Dropbox. So. If you're a person who has multiple MacBooks or, or multiple computers, you can actually have everything synced between them, which is pretty awesome. The next app is uh, Numi. So let's get rid of Unclutter. So Numi is basically a, a sort of like powerful, sort of like calculate. I don't want to say calculator because it's not a calculator. I, I do use it for calculations a lot, but you can also use it for currency conversions and stuff. I think actually let's go to their website because their website will do a much better job of explaining what Numi is. Actually, it looks like they also say that it's a calculator app. What makes this app very useful for me personally is being able to do calculations, but have a history of them. So you can do things like conversions and stuff, you can do operations, uh, percentages, scales, all sorts pretty much. And you know, what Numi does really well is, you know, once you've launched up, you can do things like 1000 to GBP. Um, and at the bottom, it will keep a total, but obviously you can just go to another line and you can do 2000 to, actually wait, I've just done this GBP. Let's do 1000 to USD and then 1000, 2000 to yen or something. And you know, keep a total of everything and it will give you a total at the bottom or whatever. And you can also click to copy a, a figure that you want to. So, you know, we could do, let's do USD. So yeah, let's do something like copy this uh, times by copying this. And then we have a calculation of 3.3 million. So yeah, Numi is very useful for, for keeping track of like calculations, keeping track of um, additions, whatever you want basically. Numi is very, very powerful I found. And you can also have different um, sort of pages in Numi, so like notes. So something that I use Numi for is say, for example, just keep an eye on my balances across my accounts. You know, being able to have it in a note and being able to update them whenever I want to and then being able to see the total balance is super useful. Next app we should cover is uh, CodeKit actually. CodeKit basically is a compiler. So if you're someone who works with JavaScript, if you're someone who works with um, cascading style sheets, you know, things like that, CodeKit basically makes it super easy to compile those sorts of things. And it also gives you a automatic sort of browser refresher. So, you know, once you've made any changes, it will automatically refresh your browser, which is super useful. It's made it super easy for me to work on websites, make changes and stuff. You know, it makes it super easy to do that sort of stuff. So yeah, CodeKit is basically a must have for any sort of developer, I think. I know some developers sort of like to use more sort of complex systems and use like to use the command line and stuff but if you're someone like me who's mainly a designer and you want a UI interface to make things easier when it comes to development you know CodeKit is super useful it can do things like minify scripts it can do things like optimize images it can it works with all sorts of frameworks and stuff so yeah CodeKit 
something I definitely recommend if you're a developer, front end developer, whatever we, you do, I think CodeKit is super useful. Next app is, um, oh, actually, for those people who are interested, I use Atom as my code um, editor. So yeah, Atom is my main code editor that I use for um, working on websites, making any changes, working on my own websites or whatever. So yeah, that's just a quick one. Tick Tick is a sort of to-do list app sort of thing that lives in your taskbar. So I wanted a sort of to-do app that I could literally just quickly access by clicking on something in the taskbar and being able to add stuff. So for example, I've added a few videos that I needed to get done. You know, I can just add another video easily so I can do things like um, what's on my Mac video and add that to the list. And you know, I have some other videos that I've done that I've completed. And yeah, obviously you don't just have to add videos. You can add whatever tasks you have, whatever things that you need to get done. Super useful, super easy. And I think it's free as well. So yeah, if you're someone who needs quick sort of to do app in your taskbar, this is the one to get. Next app is SIP. Oh, SIP is a good one actually. SIP is a color management app. So if you design like I do, um, SIP, basically is a color picker. So you can choose a color or whatever. So for example, we can choose this color and then it will actually keep that color in a list of other colors that you've added before. And you can also make like color palettes and stuff. Um, yeah, there's a lot that you can do with this. SIP is very powerful. You know, you can make your own sort of color palettes and whatever. So, you know, I like to use the same sort of colors between Photoshop and Sketch. Being able to have access to them in one app makes it super useful being able to switch between apps and just use the same colors. Next one is Better Touch Tool. Now, Better Touch Tool is super, super powerful. I love this app. So if we go to their website, because I think their website does a much better um, explanation of what Better Touch Tool does. So if we open this up, so Better Touch Tool is basically an app that makes it super easy to customize your inputs on your mouse or your trackpad or whatever else. But one feature that it has, which is super, super useful that I use all the time is window management. So for example, we have Safari here in this window. We can do things like snap it to the right hand of the screen, or we can snap it to the left hand of the screen, or we can snap it to the top to make it, or actually, yeah, we can just snap it to the top to make it cover the whole screen. So yeah, it just makes it incredibly useful to manage my windows. So I actually feel like I very much underutilize this app because there is so much power. There are so many things that you can do with this app. But one of the things I do use with it is on the magic mouse. For example, I wanna open a link up in a new tab. And usually you have to press command click to do that. But what I've done is, is set it to a two finger tap. So when I two finger tap the top of my magic mouse, it opens a link up in a new tab which is incredibly useful if you're someone like me who goes through lots of different pages and you're on Google and you're trying to find a solution for something, you know, being able to quickly open links in, in new tabs and just being able to quickly sort of like sift through them, find the information that I need. There's no need for me to hold down command and then click just to open links in a new tab. So yeah, Better Touch Tool is very powerful something that I think everyone should have and it's not an expensive app either. You can do all sorts with it. You know, you can set up Bluetooth remotes, you can set up keyboards, drawings, you can set up a Siri remote, you can set up an Apple remote. You can also set up the Magic Leap. So if you have a Magic Leap, you know, one of those things where you use sort of gestures and stuff to control an interface, a Better Touch Tool has Magic Leap integration. So yeah, super powerful app. I definitely recommend it if you're someone who wants to customize their inputs and have better window management. Finally, the last app is a very cool app that I use to set timers. So it just lives up in your taskbar at the top and you click on it and then you hold down and then you drag and you can set however long of a timer that you want. So, you know, you can do things like three hours, four hours, or you can do things like just five minutes or even one minute, two minutes, you know, whatever else. So one of the things I actually use it for is keeping an eye on the oven in my kitchen. So because my office is in another part of the house, um, I can't hear the oven timer when it goes off. So I just come onto my Mac and I'll set a timer for say 30 minutes if I'm cooking something. And I'll be reminded of when my food is cooked and ready to eat. So yeah, I use it for things like that. I also use it for things like maybe sometimes tracking um, how long I wanna spend on doing something. So for example, if I wanna spend an hour on a project, so yeah, I can just set a timer for an hour and it will just live up in the taskbar and I'll see once the hour is up, I'll get a reminder. The great thing is you can set multiple timers so, you know, we can add some other timers to it 
And then once we open it up, it will show me all the timers that I have going right now, which is incredible. You know, being able to have multiple, multiple timers at any one time is super useful. So yeah, brilliant app, something I definitely recommend. So yeah, those are just some of the apps that I recommend that maybe you might not have heard of. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I use the sort of default apps that a lot of people use, things like Sketch, um, Photoshop, Lightroom, Safari, Chrome, Spotify, things like that. I don't think those sorts of apps are too interesting because everyone knows of them. I wanted to sort of share apps that I think maybe some people won't know of. So yeah, hopefully you guys have found something that's useful. If you have any recommendations or any apps that you think I should check out, leave it in the comments below because lots of people will also be interested in other apps that other people recommend. So yeah, leave any app recommendations in the comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.